What's shaking everyone? Welcome back. Today we have incline bench press. I began with a regular push press from the rack so I did not muscle clean this time. I wanted to go a little heavier so I did triples with 135, 155, and 175. For the incline bench press, no warm ups, just like usual. It's only 200 pounds so I really don't need to do any warm up sets although I guess if I really wanted to play it safe I could do a set with 185 but even that totally unnecessary so we have 10 triples 90 seconds of rest between sets and 200 moved just fine like last time it's very comfortable i put some really long pauses on the chest too long so when i get past about set six or so they get out of hand to the point where i really don't need to be doing that i shouldn't do that it's completely unnecessary but I'm strong enough in the bottom with 200 where I can do that safely and comfortably. But again, really don't need to be doing that. For the accessory, I went to the weighted dip again. I was a little bit hesitant because I did dips yesterday and wasn't really sure if I wanted to do it two days in a row, but I did just because I love the weighted dip, especially for chest. So I did a triple with 100. And then I did seven triples with 125 pounds, two minutes of rest between sets. And I just did seven because I wanted to get over 20 or be around 20 total reps. I thought about doing just five triples, but to me, 15 reps just didn't quite seem enough. I would have to probably use 150 for that to be sufficient. And with the way dips went, it was absolutely fine. So I'm happy to get that sort of volume. Not going ultra heavy, but enough. 125 pounds isn't bad for dips. And I did put a little pause at the bottom. Nothing long, nothing major, but just to have a nice secure bottom position feel for the chest. So after every rep, I made it a point to really get a good stretch in the chest before dipping back up. And I like doing that because it helps ensure the quality of the movement. And I'm not going so heavy to the point where I just go through it, but where I can actually stop it feel it and then press from there so for incline bench i'm really thinking that i would love to go to heavy singles again which i have not done in a while and i won't do it for this program either but when i switch and i do go to singles training i like the incline bench and it's really interesting because i can more or less match my flat bench which is very unusual that should not really be technically speaking but I just love training the incline barbell bench press and I've put a lot of time into it over the flat where I believe 315, I first did that with flat bench, but where it really felt good was actually on incline bench. So, and that's again, due to the time and the effort that I've put into the lift, I very much prefer that. And for today, I did think about going to the flat bench for the accessory, but I really like dips and there are so many reasons why I prefer doing dips over something where I'm laying down. As much as I like different bench press variations, I much would rather move myself through space if I can. So that's why I'm doing chin ups again. I'm doing weighted chin ups because I like that sort of movement. I feel like I get a lot from them. I think they're good skills to have and also at the same time, you're getting multiple muscle groups worked. So it's just a good idea. No disrespect to the bench press, but for me, I like to focus on incline if I'm going to do bench press. And then to me, weighted dips are a fantastic way to go. All right, y'all. Thank you. Enjoy this long pause. And remember, adopt, wait, don't chop.